Hello and welcome to this tutorial from Kinetic Media. My name is Jeff Batts, the head trainer at Kinetic Media. And in this tutorial is going to be part four of the jQuery Mobile and Dreamweaver basics. We're going to talk about list views and list navigations. Now with list views and list navigations, Dreamweaver makes it really easy to insert this inside of your uh, inside of your course or side or sorry inside of your project or anything that you may be using um, and you can get as simplistic as you want uh, just some simple layouts or you can get complex with thumbnails and uh, shadows and uh, text descriptions and different things like that now in this course I'm just going to give you a basic overview so I'm not going to talk about adding thumbnails or anything like that this is just going to explore how you start adding stuff like that um, and then we'll talk about how you get more complex. So like I talked about, you can get as simplistic as you want with uh, just a simple navigation that takes you to a different page. Or you can get complex with uh, different filters and uh, different images and thumbnails and uh, little text bubbles, text asides is what they call them. Um, so let's go ahead and get into uh, just actually creating a list to begin with. And in the next video, we'll talk about actually making it, adding thumbnails and making it a little bit more complex. So <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and start with Dreamweaver. And the first thing I want to do is actually start from a template. So I'm going to go down to under the create new category. I'm going to click on more and then I'm going to go down to the uh, page from sample and I'm going to click on mobile starters and then I'm going to create um, jQuery mobile local. That means I'm going to keep all of my jQuery uh, code and the references to the different JavaScripts files into my local drive and to not use a CDN, which you can get a little bit better performance with the CDN, but for now I'm just going to go ahead and keep it on local. And my doc type is set to HTML5. I'll go ahead and click on create. Now <clears throat> I want to make sure that I have my jQuery mobile menu pulled up which I do go over in uh, other tutorials but if you don't see that you can go to window and make sure that you have your uh, different elements your inserts your common uh, window shown up and if you do there should be a jQuery mobile tab if you navigate to that jQuery mobile tab we're going to talk about in the different videos we're going to talk about these different buttons but for now the first thing I want to do is to go ahead and save this so I'm going to go to my desktop and I'm actually going to save this as index on my dex on my uh, desktop here it's going to tell me that it's going to copy all of these necessary files inside of that folder yes I want to go ahead and copy them and now that cleans up my uh, my JavaScript uh, where it points to my different JavaScript files so it looks a lot better there and now I can go ahead and get started here now what I like to do in order to actually uh, preview this I'm going to go ahead and pull this up I'm going to preview this inside of my um, inside of my browser window but let me go ahead and uh, just make this a little bit smaller so it fits a little bit better and if I wanted to if you have the Xcode simulator you can actually bring up Safari and just drag over the index file into Safari and that should give me a preview as well now <clears throat> this is actually um, pulling up really small and I do cover how to uh, fix this in a different uh, tutorial so you may want to reference that in part two um, but let me go ahead and fix that real quick all right, now that I have that fixed, which all I did was add on this one line of code, this meta code, and, uh, and with that uh, added in there, now I have that fixed, so I can go ahead and preview this. Now you can see that it starts me out with a basic list, and so I have just a couple pages, and it just has a basic title, and it has an arrow that if I tap on that, it will actually, actually take me to a new page. So let's explore how you actually change that list first of all. Now coming down into the code, you can see under the first page uh, that there is a div tag and that div tag is uh, just set as the content because the list is actually labeled as content or is the content now if you wanted to you can actually before the list view you can start adding paragraphs and so I'm going to say this um, choose your desired page And now if I go ahead and preview this, I have some text above that list. And so if I wanted to add a description, if I wanted to add an image or anything like that, you could just insert that right after the content and right before the list view. 
Now a list view is basically an unordered list. Now within the unordered list we have different list items. You'll notice that uh, the list items, there within the list items there is an href tag and uh, the href tag has a pound and then um, a label to whatever page it's going to. And then this is the label that actually shows up in the list. So this is where the code actually takes you to whatever page it is. And you'll notice down here in page two, that's what's going to uh, navigate to. And we talk about that um, in our first tutorial, or sorry, in our page tutorial for uh, jQuery Mobile. But for right now, we're just going to explore what we can do with the list. So I'm going to go ahead and just get rid of the description here. <coughs> and I'm going to get rid of actually the list view here as well. I'm going to start from scratch and I'm going to add a list view on the first page and I can add it on other pages if needed but I'm going to add a list view on the first page. Now under the jQuery mobile navigation I can click on the second option which gives me a J if I hover over it, it says jQuery mobile list view. By clicking on the jQuery mobile list view it pops open with some different uh, different options that I can do for my list. Um, I have the option to either do an unordered list or an ordered list. Now ordered lists will show numbers or show bullet points so if you don't want those um, then stick with unordered list. You can say how many list items or how many different menu navigations you want there to be. Um, it, right now the menu shows up to 10 but you can actually do more than that but you have to do that manually. And then you have the different options. You have inset, text description, text bubble, a side split button, and if you do split button, you can choose what type of icon that split button has. Um, but let's let's explore what these different ones are. I'm going to go ahead and keep it set at three, and I'm going to select inset. <clears throat> if I select OK, you'll notice that really not much has changed here. I do need to add the links to my different pages, and I do need to update the labels here. But the only thing that really has been added is this data dash inset equals true. And that's added to my unordered list. Now just by doing that, if I go ahead and preview this, you'll check it, you'll be able to see that it actually insets it. Um, so it makes it uh, as like its own little section here. Let's say I want another one of those sections. Well, I can actually come down here uh, right under the unordered list and I can add another jQuery list, a mobile list, and I can make this one inset as well. If I go ahead and click OK and save that, let's go ahead and preview this. <clears throat> you'll notice I have two different uh, inset lists and so I can make different sections if I wanted to within these lists. Now I can add dividers, list dividers um, and we'll talk about that in a later tutorial but for right now we're just exploring what the different uh, list items can do. So you can have multiple lists um, and use those inside of, um, inside of jQuery mobile. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of one of these lists though. And let's explore a little, a couple different options here. So I'm going to delete the entire list there, and I'm going to add a new list. Now in this list, I'm going to add a text description. If I click OK, <clears throat> it gives me a little bit different of a layout. So I have, still have my list. Um, you can see from the list item here, uh, the end list item. But now I have an H3 tag with a label, and I have a paragraph. Now the paragraph tag actually becomes the description um, and the H3 tag becomes the actual page label. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to preview this again. And you'll notice now I have the page description, my uh, text area or my uh, list selection area is a lot bigger than what it was before because I also have a text description. Um, and that's the what gives me in the text description if I add that as a paragraph there. So that's what a text description list is. I'll go ahead and delete some of this. And let's go ahead and add on another list. If I select text bubble and click OK, <clears throat> looking at the code, it still gives us list items. So each option is always going to be a list item. Now it still has an href tag that I can link to a different page. Um, my my uh, title is actually not inside of an H3 tag. It can be. I can go ahead and change that. Um, but you'll notice that span class UI uh, UI dash LI dash count is actually added here. Now this gives me a number which I can go ahead and change. Um, and this basically allows me to say, okay, if there's a, a, another page that has different list or different options or something like that. Um, so let me go ahead and preview that. Sorry, my thing goes away there. There we go. So now I have a little bubble with the number. Now, this could even be added on. It's mainly meant for numbers. 
but you can actually also add text within that. So you'll notice you have like a little text here as well. What I found this useful for was to add, if I had a sub navigation, uh, like in this sample app, if I tap on it, it actually takes me to that uh, navigation. So it's a way to say, okay, there's five other choices if you select this option. Um, and that's uh, really useful to let the uh, user know that as well. <clears throat> okay, so that is the uh, text bubble. So let's go ahead and explore another one. And so we have the text aside. And now the text aside, it places inside of here. It's the same. It's the same structure as the text bubble, but actually, the class is set as UI dash LI dash aside, and then it has some text, which I can add, change that text to whatever I want. Let me go ahead and change that sample there. I'm going to go ahead and drag this in here, and you can see that it's not really within a text bubble, but it's placed in the same area that the text bubble is, and it's a different color. You can change that CSS if you wanted to. Uh, it's a different color, but uh, it adds it to the right-hand side, that text. All right, so there's one more list option that I want to talk about, and that is the split button. If I select the drop-down box, you'll notice uh, either alert, uh, down arrow, left arrows, and uh, a couple of other options. But I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And you'll notice that within these different list items, there's actually two different links. Uh, one link has the title and the other link is the icon. Um, now if I go ahead and preview this, these are actually as they're labeled split buttons. So I can select the text to go to a certain area and then I can tell, select the icon to go to another area. Now right now I'm using the default icon but let's actually try adding a list that has a different type of icon. Um, so I'm going to go in here to split list, split button, go down to check, and you'll notice that it adds um, under the data in the unordered list, it adds a data split icon set to check. That this isn't the default one, this is actually the check one. So now let's preview that, and you'll notice instead of an uh, uh, arrow, it actually has a check mark. And so that's how you can go in there and you can change that as well. So that is your different types of lists that you can add. Now there's other things that you can do to lists that are beyond what's actually labeled here. This is the Dreamweaver defaults. Uh, we'll talk about in the next tutorial how to add thumbnails. We'll also talk about um, how to um, add shadows to the thumbnails and a couple other things as well that are not specific to Dreamweaver mobile or sorry, Dreamweaver and jQuery mobile. But that's a, a little overview of the basics of uh, jQuery mobile list and how you get started with those inside of Dreamweaver CS6.